What are the risk factors? Risk factors for abdominal hernias may differ according to type. However, overall factors that can increase the risk of abdominal hernias include strenuous physical activity that increases pressure on abdominal muscles, for example, heavy lifting, being overweight, previous abdominal surgery, pregnancy, smoking, chronic coughing. Some abdominal hernias occur as a result of defects or weaknesses in abdominal muscles that are present at birth. Women are at a higher risk of developing spagalian and obturator hernias than men. How is it diagnosed? Physical examination and history of symptoms are often all that is needed to diagnose inguinal, umbilical, ventral, incisional, or lumbar hernias. When people experience symptoms that suggest these types of hernias, but no hernia is felt upon examination, ultrasound or a CT scan can help confirm the diagnosis. Because they occur deep within the abdomen, spagalian and obturator hernias are usually diagnosed with the CT scan. Symptoms of abdominal hernia that occur along with nausea, vomiting, rapid heartbeat, or fever suggest strangulation, a potentially serious complication. When these symptoms are present but hernia is not obvious, rapid diagnosis with ultrasound or CT is pivotal so that surgical treatment can be performed as soon as possible.